One of the most common complaints of pet parents is that their dogs are disruptive, destructive when they're left alone. Mm -hmm. Other dogs might urinate, defecate, bark, howl, chew, dig, you name it to try to get out of there because they're under stress, right? Separation anxiety Absolutely. is what we're talking about today. We do want to introduce Billy here, though, yes. because Billy, he's not under any stress right now, but he is looking for a no, home. No, he is. This is Billy. He came from, uh, he came to us hit by a car um, huh. probably about four or five months ago. It had a broken pelvis, had some surgery, came with heartworms as well. Um, so now he is through all of that and looking for his forever home. He's a very, very good boy. So, so handsome. And I we know. think we, we definitely see Lab and Great Dane Lab, in there. Dane, yep. Wonderful uh, mix and Treat just hound. so sweet. Yep. There we oh, there go. You go. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're a good but, boy. But, you know, especially if you bring home a new animal or an animal you've had for a long time that is just needy. Mm -hmm. They have separation anxiety. Yes. So what do you do when you go on a trip or you have a long day ahead? How do you prepare for that? Well, most dogs actually suffer from separation anxiety on a daily basis. That they it, it really affects the way they, you know, they handle stress at home. You know, when you leave, it's a big deal. They are it you're you are their world and your world is leaving. So there are a couple of things we can do to kind of minimize the stress. One, like like Billy just enjoyed, have treats on hand. Yeah. Because it's good to distract them. Especially uh, Kongs filled with peanut butter, very, very good distraction for dogs if you stick them in the freezer. Um, but also don't make a big deal out of leaving. Try not to, you know, make a big fuss. Don't you be can, like, bye, baby. Because exactly. then that makes it worse, right? And you can slip out quietly and then yeah. come home pretty quietly, let them wind down and then give them attention. Um, also companionship sometimes helps. So if they're alone own dog, you know, turn the radio on. You can certainly, you know, find a new puppy for your house, yeah, like, like Billy here. Too. Exactly. Yeah. I know. What about if you have to board your pet? And you know, I know my dogs always know when I'm grabbing the suitcase, they hide. Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so what do you do? Um, it can be challenging, although believe it or not, dogs boarding often have a less stressful time than dogs staying at home because okay. at least there's the people, they there's other dogs, exactly. There's something yeah. happening where at home, it's often just staring out the window until you return. Um, some dogs have their favorite blanket. Some dogs need their favorite treats. And some dogs are so severely affected by separation anxiety that they actually need to be medicated. Yeah, I've um, heard of that too. Absolutely, it, it's real. How do you make them feel safe? You know, I've heard um, if you crate your dog, for instance, mm -hmm. that you can put like a blanket over it. Like, absolutely. what are ways to make them feel like you're okay, you're protected, you're not left alone? Yeah, I mean, I, I love crating. Uh, crating, and even if some dogs don't even require the crate to be closed, they just want their room to go live in. Yeah. And so make it comfortable in there, make it dark. A lot of dogs have storm anxiety as well as separation anxiety so be sure that if you're not home when a storm rolls in they've got somewhere to go hide and hang out and be quiet um, that's great play. advice um any anything else maybe if they're taking billy home again a new dog and mm -hmm, unsure mm -hmm. of how they're going to be maybe crate them first before you absolutely. just let them have the house absolutely it's good to introduce them and you know when speaking of medication when i recommend medicating dogs is when they become self-destructive when they yeah. become Chewers of door jams and they're eating wood splinters and tearing Not up like your just walls. a little whimpering. Exactly. Not right. just you can usually manage that uh, with you know, behavioral things, with with treats, with uh, with white noise. But if they become destructive, that's when I would really reach for for medication. Yeah. And of course, talk to the vet about the proper Absolutely. way to do that. Absolutely. Thank you so much for coming on. And Thanks Billy, for of course, me. available for adoption. How could you say no to that face? I know it's hard. Vic.